guys, this is Beyond underscore 3.7. Sorry about the voice over here. I was doing a car vlog about this topic. However, when I did it and I got home and put it on the laptop, I noticed that the loudness of my car and the drone was just unbearable for the audio. So we're doing a voiceover with the drive-in. So hope you guys enjoy that and not too bothered by it. Today we're going to be doing a tune review the mpt performance tune review more power tuning this is what a lot of my subscribers have been waiting for and there's not a lot of videos about it on youtube so i am happy to bring you guys one of the first consumer ones for the s550 so the most common question i've been asked about the mpt tunes are does it make a huge difference and the, and the answer is yes it makes a huge difference it's night and day it feels like a completely different car it really does wake up the vehicle. The second thing is torque. Do you feel any more torque? So the 3.7 liter is known to kind of fall in the face when it comes to torque. It's not a great low end torque making engine. However, with this tune, your mid range torque is crazy. Um, once you've got the vehicle in kind of that mid range area, the torque is fantastic. You can really get up and go and really feel a huge difference in acceleration. Horsepower, I definitely feel as if the car is faster. Um, I don't know exactly how much faster I have not dynoed it yet. I plan to do that at some point in the future, so stay tuned for that. But it definitely feels a lot faster. I would say reliability, it seems to be great. Um, I have had no issues so far as far as reliability. I've driven the car about 1,500 miles with the tune on it, with the exception of one thing and maybe MPT or somebody else who's more familiar with tuning can address this for me. But when you're driving on the stock tune in these S550s and you put it into sport mode, you don't actually have to shift using the paddle shifters. The computer will automatically shift for you while it's in sport mode while still giving you that aggressive driving feel that sport mode is designed for. So with that being said, it usually shifts for you before you cause any damage to the engine or miss any gears which is a very nice feature. Now, after I tuned the vehicle, I tried to do this exact same thing and I actually hit red line and it was a very scary moment in the vehicle. Now, with that being said, I'm assuming that with the MPT tune, it is not allowing the computer to auto shift and it's making me do it, which I was unaware of before doing this. So if there's any way I can change that, maybe I can call MPT and see what they can do or if that's just the way it is, you know, either way, I'm completely fine with it. I just wasn't aware of that before hitting that red line that I was going to have to do the shifting in the sport mode. Just because I know a lot of guys doing 0-60 to 60 pulls, they were not actually shifting. They would just put it in the sport mode and then just go and let the computer shift for them. Um, since they are more aggressive shift points. So with that being said, maybe a little more clarification there as far as reliability on that front, but everything else has been great. Um, what is the most noticeable thing about the tune? What is my favorite thing about the MPT tune? I would say the flawless aggressive shift points. These shift points are so smooth. I mean, they, they feel smoother than the stock shift points. And I know it's kind of an oxymoron saying aggressive and smooth, but here, let me explain. So the shift points are very aggressive. They do jolt you forward and you do feel them. However, the fluidity of them is what makes them smooth. They don't seem out of place. They don't seem wrong. They feel like they belong there and that's where they should be. I know where it's going to hit every single time and you get that jolt and it feels amazing. So the aggressive shift points are the most noticeable and my favorite thing about the tune. I had another subscriber trying to figure out whether or not he should go with Bama or MPT. If you're going for strictly performance, I would say MPT just because they are known and said to have the more aggressive tunes, the more aggressive shift points, and they yield better results as far as horsepower and torque. Well, that also being said, I have absolutely nothing against Bama. I actually have not had their tune on this vehicle, and I may actually purchase one of those their tunes throw it onto my tuner and give it a shot for a little while, you know? We need to remember, as far as these tunes, that you're not going to just pick one and stick with it forever. You don't have to do that. You can load multiple tunes from different companies, and for your different driving styles and different situations, you can load different tunes for it. 
So don't think just because you get an MPT tune or you get a Bama tune or any of the other tuners that you can't switch to another one at any point. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the MPT tunes for the 2015-2016 V6 Mustang. I recommend it. Definitely check them out. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Also follow me on Instagram at beyond underscore 3.7. Oh! <laughs>